Urine Care Incontinence Management System. The User Manual. The Control Device Kit contains the User Manual, the Control Device, two battery packs, a charger, and a wall adapter power supply. The Control Device weighs only 4 ounces and is easily worn beneath clothing. The yellow tab must be removed from the Control Device prior to use. To release the battery, pull the black release latch on the end of the device up away from the battery. Remove the battery by sliding and lifting it away from the control device. After removing a battery from the control device, remember to connect it to the battery charger unit to ensure it will be charged when it is next needed. The battery charger unit contains a second battery. The yellow tab must be removed prior to use. In the upper left corner of the control device kit is a box containing the wall adapter power supply for the battery charger. Connect the cord of the wall adapter power supply to the battery charger unit and plug the adapter into a wall outlet. At the top of the battery charger unit is the battery status indicator light. A flashing red light indicates that the battery is in need of charging. A flashing yellow light indicates that the battery is charging. A solid green light indicates that the battery is fully charged and is ready to be used with the control device. Please note, the battery pack must be charged prior to the first use. To remove the battery, pull down on the release latch and slide and lift the battery away from the charger. The mail cup is made from medical grade polyurethane and foam. The hose connector attaches to the collection chamber clip. Urinary sensors located at the bottom of the cup can detect as little as 5 milliliters of moisture before activating the control device urinary pump. The collection chamber is made from medical grade polyurethane. The drainage T valve is easy to operate and can be opened or closed with one hand. Dual chambers allow the collection chamber to wrap around the leg, creating less bulk than a standard bag. Two air filtering hydrolock vents allow air to escape but hold moisture in. A Velcro strip wraps around the leg, allowing the collection chamber to be easily worn on leg, thigh, or hung nearby. The brace and harness are used for holding the cup in place. The harness has Velcro straps located on either side and can be opened for ease of access. Wearing the system. Insert the male cup into the pocket in the brace or harness before or after wearing. Feed the hose through the small hole at the front of the harness. Feed the back portion of the harness through the legs. Fasten the Velcro straps on each side of the waist. Insert the penis through the foam ring of the cup. Ensure that the cup is being held in a vertical position and is snug against the body. If the cup is not positioned correctly, the sensors will not be able to sense urine and will not activate the pump. Please consult your sizing and body type chart for more information on how to properly wear the cup and harness or brace. Slide the control device onto the bottom of the collection chamber clip. There will be an audible click when the connection is complete. To attach the collection chamber to the leg, first put on the Velcro strip by wrapping it around the leg at the preferred height. Once the strip is secure, simply press the collection chamber onto the strip and fasten with the lower straps if desired. Ensure that the collection chamber T-valve is closed before use. Attach the hose connector to the collection chamber clip. Upon connection, the control device will beep twice and all battery status indicator lights will flash. The flashing lights on the control device indicate whether the unit is fully charged, green, partially charged, yellow, or completely drained, red. Consult the manual for full battery indication chart. The control device will emit an audible beep when the battery needs to be changed. To silent the beep, press and hold the M push button until the control device beeps twice. If the user continues to press the M push button, the control device will begin pumping. The urine care system can be worn while sitting, standing, walking, or semi-reclined. System Operation the urine care system is fully automated. When the sensor detects urine, the urine care system will activate, pumping the urine from the male cup into the collection chamber. To drain urine from the reusable collection chamber, free the T-valve from the chamber and slide the valve to drain. Remember to close and secure the valve when finished. To remove the hose from the control device, squeeze both sides of the connector and pull away from the control device. 
To remove the control device from the collection chamber, press and hold the black release button located at the top of the device and slide away from the clip. Cleaning the system. For optimal results, the urine care system should be cleaned with 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, which can be purchased at most pharmacies. Do not use any other liquid cleaners or aerosol cleaners. Connect the control device to the collection chamber and mail cup in preparation for cleaning. Do not wear the device while attempting cleaning. Slowly pour the cleaning solution into the cup until the sensors are completely covered. Press and hold the M push button to manually operate the pump, draining the fluid from the cup. Run the system twice and then run a third time using lukewarm water. Once the cup is drained, turn the collection chamber over several times, allowing the cleaning solution to rinse out the inside of the chamber. When done, open the valve and drain the chamber. The system should be cleaned daily. If there are any problems with your urine care system or you need assistance using the system, call us toll-free at 1-888-799-2693 and ask for customer service or visit our website at www.urinecare.com.